If for game number one, Solar Scarabs going up against Hex Mambo, and we will jump right in to the action here. Ernest will be stunned out. Look at Worst Turtle around the back, looking for the jump over the wall, potentially an in. And no dash available for Spudio, but he misses the initial CC and has to dash out instead. Silence just getting out of there with the rip tied, but the rotation over may grab first blood. Johnny on the board first. Yeah, he's waited patiently for his time Completely and has found split focus oh, in that fight. The Emoja ultimate gets wasted. It may turn into something on the left side, though. E Chrome poked out by Spudio. A two level lead and a blink in from Johnny. The regurgitate will force the beads. And they'll grab the kill back as Panvich picks up Hawk of the rotation to mid as well. It's fighting everywhere for the sides here. And Sat picks up the second for the Scarabs as well in the fight in the game. They'll pick up a two for one, make it three. No, it's a turnaround and a beautiful silence. That lead does not matter if you've got the silence on the ground. Kha'Zix help picks up the second. That's the second time which the silence feels for Kha'Zix. Great, but I think this is the opportunity that Mambo are looking for. They lost to Gold Fury last time around and they're definitely going to look to take a fight this time around, but it's fight splitting out before the objective comes out. And Johnny has grouped up with Ekrom here on the left-hand side. They'll take down the Heimdallir, and they have a pick on the board, but the fight's happening over towards the objective as well. The Great Aegis from the Hawk silence again. Out just barely, and it will be... No, the Silence will pick up the kill with the bouncing bubble to at least trade one back Kha'Zix will push up just to make sure that their presence is known but so far it is the scarab with positioning and with the gold fury pull that ultimate comes Julio. out and look for julio on the back line forces the blink away and doesn't get the pull in but that opens the door for johnny and he hits a three-man regurgitate cleans up the mid laner as well and all of a sudden it texts mambo on the chase brings back johnny though and worst turtle trades out one for one the help of the peel there the heimdall your ultimate taking him down and now maybe solar scarabs looking to push back it'll be a 4v4 and they've got the ultimate available from julio if he wants to push in he's holding it and he's on to the back line spudio forced to use the agent's body blocks and can't dash the right way he'll finally make it out towards the dual lane and the blink oh. in is slowing down pan bitch not successful on the chase but yeah, they can even use the river's rebuke if they wanted to just zone out where still goes in and there's the river's rebuke but they're going on the julio here yeah he's been separated he is able to dash away but kazik pushes in just to make this base and Johnny helps the soul inner peel out as well. Worst turtles on the chase though, and he looks to get the first pick. This time, Johnny's engagement is not successful and he won't trade one out. He'll just get traded out himself. The one for zero so far for the solar scarabs and X Mambo takes the cue from their jungler and That's head changed. back. It's actually helped him create some distance here. Silence coming back in to try and help peel for him, but he's caught up by yet another root. Beads come out, Rivers Rebuke come out for the peel. And Sab under pressure for the bomb shell is forced as well. Worst Turtle and Johnny boot duking it out on the left side. But Ekrome, oh. he finds the ultimate into Niflheim. Goes Kha'Zix and he will be taken down on the back end of it as well. Sap grabbing the support and it will just be a pick for now as Panvich has pushed put out the nail Johnny. On the and earlier if they're able to take it. But... They will slow down on the burn as Julio is on to the objective, trying to make a little bit of space, but that's Stop not the steal it away. What stole that? They somehow managed to get the damage in and all of a sudden things may flip on its head. Worst turtle chase down and he gets turned around on as well. Things go from bad to worse. They lose the fire giant. They lose their jungler and attacks Mambo on the chase. Kha'Zix dashes in. I love that Phoenix before it evaporates four autos from e -Chrome and they are still on the chase here. But look at the health bars from X Mambo. They may have overcommitted here. Kha'Zix has 20% HP and Panvich does not care. He'll take down one. He'll chase down Kha'Zix, but that opens a window for Johnny. And all of a sudden it's a two for two. The chaos reigns in this mid lane and Julio may be next on the chopping block. Oh. Make it a double as Silence takes down Spudio and in the snap of my fingers in the blink of an eye four are down for hex mambo it's only kazik standing between the scarabs 
and a 1-0 lead. And I'm not sure he's going to be enough. Fire minions pouring into the base. River's Rebuke will get popped, but they're going to focus <laughs> down the support and now focus onto the Titan. And Solar Scarabs take game one. One game away for Solar Scarabs to break the Hex Mambo streak and secure themselves a 4-1 you know, finish. That's all we need. We are ready to lead into game number two. Hex Mambo looking to fight back in this set. Solar Scarabs looking to push us to a tiebreaker to the top. The speed buff is also pulled by Hog. Johnny and Hog trying to just zone away the bat, but the bat is continuing to be right in their faces. Red buff secured by Johnny. Yeah, and it will look to be another fight here as the Soul Laner rotates over and Sap7 will be here in the fight. But the on to the horse he goes and Julio helps out grabbing that first blood. Johnny picking up the last hit and the Cthulhu ultimate comes out, but not enough in the tank to answer one back. Why Hex Mambo seeing? on the board. So, so much of this pressure, neither support is rotated out. Both of these junglers are staring at each other on either side of the fire giant, we, or the, the gold fear rather, and it's Kha'Zix who gets engaged on, forced to uppercut out, and it will be Johnny room for the engage on the other side of the fight as he'll try to focus down eye silence, but the damage is not there, and Worst Turtle is able to take down the trade. That just feels like such a force engagement. Yeah, I mean, we saw how much uh, of a focus the Runic Bomb was. Oh my goodness. Spudio does not miss any autos. And now it's on the snipes. Oh my God. Spudio in the blink of an eye. He, I mean, was, he had seven autos in a row. He had over everybody here. The Solar Scarabs looking to catch somebody off guard, but Hex Mambo are not sleeping. In fact, Sap is far from it. He's pushed into the air, and the Snipes come through a beautiful Aegis. Immunes two of them, and Johnny has to retreat now. A good Aegis from him is beautiful onto the Stinger, and Worst Turtle isolates Hawk. And now the rotation over from Pan Bitch in to the descent into Madness, and Worst Turtle grabs a double kill, maybe Ooh. a triple if he can catch him but he will find the back and they'll just find two solar scarabs explode into the forefront the target was locked in for panvich to die you need to put him to have his kin size online but he's still building up to it now Holy fury is gonna be leashed here they're gonna go straight up to hawk yeah hawk gets turned around on and worse turtle finds him again and it's kha'zix who gets taken down as well zap seven grabs the last hit onto that one but it's just no shown face. Hex Mambo, they're late to the Gold Fury. And when they do show up, it's immediately everyone on the Solar Scarabs is on the same page. They turn onto the mid laner. They turn really onto matter. the support. If he's taken down, so he's fine. The push up and engage. And Hex Mambo are on the engage here. Stinger comes out and Kha'Zix is the one to engage. He will be taken down to start this one off. But that gives time for Julio to rotate over. And Worst Turtle's got to be careful. Still holding on to that ultimate, though. And now it's the chase. Panvich has made space on the other side of the fight as well. Hawk just barely getting out of there with his life and will continue to chase. May not be able to say the same, though, for Spudio as he's forced into the Astro Barrage. And he'll take down what is going on. <laughs> Hex Mambo find the smallest of margins and are able to trade at least one back on this left-hand push. But that's not going to slow down the Scarab. Nuts, no, the scout was going to continue to go on this left hand side, continue to push down this tier two. Nothing that they can do about it here, Hex Mumbo. I mean, Hawk's trying his best. Kha'Zix actually back alive already. How quick is that respawn from him? Junglers having a skirmish in the jungle. Or does El Julio there actually successfully repelled them here? Yeah, they do push back. They get to teleport as well. And Sap sticks around too long. I don't know if he got caught with it. I mean, he had his relics. He used both of them there but he just loses his life Why sticks around too long back and it's only johnny in range for this hawk trying to make his way towards this but it'll be a steal if he has it in the tank good stun and the solar scarabs confirm the fire giant and are looking for the fight after the fact look for worse turtle in the back line blink in onto johnny 
and he will force the jungler out of the fight but a double knockup forces panvich in the front a stun comes through as well and they'll take down the mid laner they'll take down the support and julio is on the run too spudio falls for the third and the solar scarabs are charging down the right hand side Mumble roster to the one that made it to worlds last season at spudio he's feeling a bit of the pain right now with that change spudio is gonna get caught on the left hand side he'll delay as much as he can but on the other side hex mambo have found themselves a 4v3 and johnny takes down ekrom sap finds the alternate mid laner though and it'll be a double kill for johnny and all of a sudden they're able to trade back two for two and worst turtle is now looking to even the odds julio is what he's able to teleport away in the midst of the fight and he saves the right side phoenix kha'zix is the only one left for them to focus, and they can't clean this joint up. on whether they all should have backed or just wrap around here. Julio wants to engage. Yeah, and they're going to come at it from a split direction. Ishtar ultimate comes through, and the Terra ultimate grabs all five of the friendly team for the healing to come through as well. Snipes into the air, though. Sap dodging out. He's got the Duke shoes on, and he'll stay alive in the back line. Johnny as well, forcing the fight over towards the blue buff as Panvich is able to trade one back at the very least. A one for two thus far, though. And the Solar Scarabs, they're pushing down potentially for more. It'll be three, and it may even be four as a triple kill comes through. Worst Turtle is divine. And that may be all she wrote. The Phoenix is down. The only member left is Julio. And I'm not sure he has it in him to defend against four. The Solar Scarabs will break the un defeated streak of the hex mambo and push us to a tiebreaker now one more game to decide who is top seed who goes through as number one in eo and who goes through as the second